Welcome to another edition of Designing Spaces, the show that's all about you and your space, your home and surroundings. I'm Debbie Marie. And I'm David Jones. Here on Designing Spaces, we like to present you, the homeowner, with all the latest ideas for improving your lifestyle and making your home that much nicer. Exactly. And that goes for both inside the house and outside. That's right. With the weather warming up, folks are going to be spending more time outdoors, enjoying the backyard. And today, we've lined up some great subject matter that will make the yard a beautiful, and more comfortable place to be. And then inside the house, we'll do some of our before and after makeovers to give everyone great ideas for fresh new interior style. And it should be mentioned, we're going to do it all on a reasonable budget. You're going to be surprised. So stick around and see it all right here on Designing Spaces. Okay, now we go outside to get the yard in shape. Have you checked your landscaping lately? Whether it looks bad and can use some help or it looks great, we know you want to shape up your yard's landscaping to look its best. Now, you know there's more than one way to edge a garden, but Designing Spaces has discovered a way that not only looks fantastic, it makes the yard work go a lot easier and quicker. It's got my name all over it. It also has Martin Amato, and he's here with the story. Watch this. Landscaping your property and maintaining attractive flowering beds and keeping planted areas looking neat and trim is a big plus to a home's curbside appeal. It's also a project many homeowners look forward to, to get outside and shape the landscaping into something that's the pride of the neighborhood. Well, today, Designing Spaces gets outside and shapes up some gardens by using an innovative landscape edging material that will make your yard a head turner. I promise you that. And joining me is John Pultney. He is Vice President of Sales at SEK Corporation, a company that specializes in landscaping products that allow you, the do-it-yourselfer, to get professional landscape results in your yard fast. And I love that word, John, fast, huh? Yes. Welcome to Designing Spaces. So nice to meet Thank you. Thank you. I see you brought some goodies here. Yes, I did. So what is so different about these from other edging products that you see around? The barrier edging is actually a permanent landscape edging. So once you put it into the landscape, it actually uh, is there year in and year out, as opposed to many landscape edgings that need to be replaced every year. Also, it separates the lawn area from any type of landscape material, whether it's stone or mulch uh, or bark, uh, and keeps it looking really nice and fresh year round. Uh, also, the product is invisible, so once you put it down into the uh, landscape area, mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't protrude above the grass surface like most traditional landscape edgings do. Uh, this has a tendency to get nicked up by the lawnmower or by a trimmer, and over time, becomes very unsightly. Uh, probably the best thing about Barrier is that it's very easy to install. Uh, not hard to do at all. Uh, actually, what I'd like to do is show you. All right. It sounds like an awesome weekend project. Show me how. And the very first step is for us to lay out our edge design using a garden hose. Second step is now we're going to actually spade away all the turf uh, to create uh, our new edge. So Martin, now we're ready to install the barrier. A couple quick features I want to point out. First is, although this is a straight piece, right. it does curve also. And all you need to do in order to uh, install a curve is on a 45 degree angle, Cut these back supports, and then this barrier can curve inside or outside depending on the design that you've built. The product has these integral connectors, so these two pieces actually clip together, uh, which keeps them in place once they're put into the landscaping. All right, at this point, now we're going to install the barrier. We'll put it in place, and then we're going to spike it in. Now that the barrier is secure and in place, now we finish off the bed with mulch. Look at this, John. I love how it turned out. Yeah, it looks great. Big improvement. The barrier made such a difference. Yeah, with the two of us, it went pretty quick. I love it. You ready to go do a tree ring? Let's go for it. All right. Hi, 
John. So we've seriously changed the look of this yard, and the best part is it only took one day. Yes. Now, one last question. What is this product made of? Well, actually, Barrier is a green product. It's made of 100% recycled high-density plastic, and that type of material uh, resists weathering and maintains its shape and form you know, through the cold months. Uh, and in the northern climates where you get that freeze-thaw, uh, because of the material it's made of and the way it's installed, the product doesn't come out of the ground. John, I learned a lot. Thank you so much for being on Designing Spaces. Thank you. And enlightening us on how we can get pro landscape results with minimal work. Now, one last question. Where can folks find your edging products? Well, you can buy a uh, barrier at Home Depot and Lowe's, the major home improvement centers. And you can also go online to our website at sek.us.com, where you can find out more information about the product itself, as well as there's a locator that can tell you where the closest retailer is to you. That's good to know. And of course, we'll have a link to your website from our website at designingspaces.tv, where viewers at home can also check out more portions of the show. Creating the ultimate yard landscape, I'm Martin Amato for Designing Spaces. Well, I think we're off to a good start for the approaching summer season. We had a nice balance of outdoor and inside subject matters That's today. right. More great topics for your home and your lifestyle are already being lined up as we speak. You don't want to miss it, but right now, we're out of time. This is Designing Spaces. I'm David Jones, and more importantly... I'm Debbie Marie. We'll see you later. Bye-bye. You can visit these websites to learn more about the participants on this edition of Designing Spaces.